What's on your chopping board? What, 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 what? Well, today I'm cooking omelets. I'm going to cook an omelet for who? Just for moi, just for me, because it's just me at home today cooking. So I'm going to cook me an omelet. So I'm going to bring my camera back so you can see all of the nice things that I have here on my cabinet as I'm going to start off with beating up my eggs. I've got three eggs here with some salt and some pepper. Got three eggs here cooking with the salt and pepper. Bring my camera over. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. Bring my, I'm working with my tripod today. How's that? I think that's much better. Yes, okay. So, I've got some cooking from that I'm gonna put in my omelet. I've got some baking bits. I've got some tomatoes that I've got to chop up. Got some spinach. Some cheese that I'm gonna put inside my omelet and save some to put on top. So if you do not have bacon or sausage, and you can always buy bacon bits. I just buy the bacon bits. Sometimes I don't even. I mean, it's just to me, it just tastes just as good. This is real bacon bits, and it's the hickory smoke flavor. And it's by Clover Valley. I find this at the Dollar General store, which is right by my house. I love, love, love the fact that it's right by my house. I pick it up, bring it home, and I get started on my omelet. So this is what I'm having today. I'm having an omelet. So you're going to follow me over to the stove as I prepare my omelet. But first, I got to chop up some tomatoes. These are those small little cherry tomatoes that I have. So I'm going to chop those up. Um for you. Do some more. Chop those up for you to see me put in my omelet. So like I said, they're just a little small cherry tomatoes. Thank you for adjusting that for me. So I'm going to chop, I'm just cutting them in half. We'll chop cherry tomatoes. I thought I had everything chopped up because once I got on the camera, this is what's on my chopping board today. So I'm going to follow me over here to my stove. Yeah, there we go. Bam, we're there. So, first thing I'm gonna do is get my eggs all whipped up, ready to go into my butter. Okay. Some more paper towels here. I like to have lots of paper towels around me while I'm cooking. So the first thing we're gonna do, I know you all make omelets all the time, but I'm just, I'm just sharing with you what's on my chopping board today. This is what's on my chopping board. I'm making me some omelets. So I like to make sure, like I said, this is three eggs. And what I do is I like to keep whipping them a little bit because the more you whip the egg, the more fluffy it's gonna be when you, when you get a chance to uh, add everything else to it. And then when you indulge in this nice, scrumptious omelet, because what I'm trying to do is cut back on the carbs. So I'm trying not to, like I would love to have a breakfast sandwich or some pancakes or some biscuits. But I'm trying to stay away from all of that stuff. And, it, and you know, it's calling my name and I'm saying, no, don't call my name. Don't call my name, don't call my name. Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to get sexier, sexier. So I got that cooking in there. Wow. So that bam is cooking in the skillet. That's what I have cooking is my is the omelet mix there. Y'all, I grew up learning how to cook and clean at the same time. So if you hear me running water, it's because while I'm cooking, I'm cleaning. That's why I always have to have paper towels here. So I can dry my hands. Because that's what I do. Okay. So now we got the omelet in, we got the eggs in there. Now I'm going to add, right now we have the eggs in there, so it's cooking to turn this up just a little bit. Now I have some chopped spinach that I'm going to add to it. Yes, baby. You see that? You see that in there? Lots of chopped spinach for me. Because y'all know, if you've been watching my show long enough, you know I love spinach. I love, love, love spinach. Okay, so we got the spinach cooking in there with the eggs then I'm gonna add my chopped tomatoes 
voila, cook it in it. And then the last thing I'm going to add is my baking bits. Before I add my cheese, I'm gonna add the baking bits because I want everything to cook together real good. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to add before I close up my omelet, um, because once it cooks a little bit, I'm going to take it from one side and cover and close it. Going to like a little half moon, I guess you would say. So I'm going to put some cheese on top, and then I'm going to save some cheese to put on, I'm sorry, some seed cheese on the inside. Then I'm going to save some cheese to put on the top. Now this has got to cook to where the sides are really to where I can be able to lift it and, and lift the omelet from one side to another side. And once I do that, then I'm going to add my cheese on top. So I can tell by the way it is not quite ready yet. So while I'm waiting for it to get a little bit more done so I can do that. So I can add a little bit more seasoning to it while it's cooking like that. I can add a little bit more uh, salt and pepper. That's all I add to my eggs. I know some people may add other things. Uh, some people, I don't know, they like garlic 